Aloha, all, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and in the last episode, we did some ballroom dancing as well as some uh, airplane shooting um, on the part of Bentley. And that allowed us to progress to the second part of our lovely heist of the Clockwork Wings. And we now know that we need to take out some uh, ground forces um, as well as make a buzzsaw. Uh, to, I believe, um, uh, I think I, 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 I just watched it and I've already forgotten, but I'm pretty sure the buzzsaw is used so that we can cut loose the, uh, um, whatever they called, uh, the, the wings. There we go. <laughs> we need to find a way to get Rajan's prize elephant out of their pen. I don't know, Bentley. That door looks pretty heavy. Maybe I can crawl on that hole under the steps and find an alternate route. All right, well then let's do that. I never understood that. Why are elephants so scared, so scared of rats? Rats are not that scary. Oh. He is, though. Wow, he sure looks spooked. A job well done, Sly. Now comes the hard part. I need you to snatch the headdress jewels worn by both elephants. The jewels are firmly embedded, so keep whacking at them with your cane to knock one loose. I'll need to make use of the rooftops to get to one of the elephant's backs, but it shouldn't be a problem. You know what always baffles me about Sly, though? Is that there are certain animals that just, like... Like, you're, you're animals in, in Sly. Like, that's what you are. And, like, I understand that, like, they need animals as, like, you know, I don't know, plot pieces and stuff like that. But, like, you know, you're a raccoon and you can talk. And Bentley's a turtle and he can talk. Murray's a hippo and he can talk. But, like, these elephants, they can't talk. You know, the tiger can talk, the lizard, you know. What's what's the deal with that? I never I never understood that. Like rats can't talk, elephants can't talk, you know. Um Like it just I don't know, it's like it always like has confused me. Never quite made sense to me. But thankfully there's only two of these prized elephants, so like, you know, they're pretty easy to spot. It's not like you have to like go searching for them. Like they pretty much come to you if you, you spend enough time sitting in the same place. But that's no fun. Um, but as you, uh, 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 get rid of some of the, uh, gems, um, the elephants pick up, so I'd make sure that, like, you're aware of that, and, like, you're gonna have to do some jumping and some dodging to make sure that, like, the elephants don't, like, neigh you off or whatever, like, kick you off. What, I don't know. I just think of neigh like horses. But, uh, here we go. Ah, there we go. Yeah, see, the elephant, like, the elephant gets pissed that you're, like, stealing its gems, so, like, it tries to, uh, knock you off, so you just have to jump over the trunk, like, a jump rope or something. Really not too difficult. And I like to take it, uh, one elephant at a time, well, one elephant at a time, ah, uh, one elephant as a at a time. Um, when the elephant, like, makes his noise, uh, you know that he's going to try to attack you, so that's when you know to jump. Um. But, uh, yeah, the elephant also, like, destroys enemies for you, so... Keep out for that. Alright, can I get up on top of you? No, apparently I can. Alright, so we're gonna move over here. Um... Something that I, uh, like, uh, I, I also haven't really talked about is, like, some more of, like, Sly 4 information that I've... Uh, like that has been released and stuff like that and it's basically confirmed for those of you who don't know that like Sly 4 is going to be uh, it's I'm pretty sure it's subtitle is Thieves in Time and it, like I looked up the basic like plot for Thieves in Time and it's basically something along the lines of like the pages of the Thievius Raccoonus get lost in time or something like that and uh, they go running around trying to save it you know because they don't want the the events of history to be um, 
you know, uh, change. And I, I think one of like one of the things that I saw was that like one of the ideas is that one of the Coopers isn't able to necessarily like write into it, which like drastically changes you know, the life of another Cooper in one way or another. Like Sly winds up never being born or something like that. So I don't know. I mean, I was like I was thinking about it, and it, it seems like a pretty interesting plot, and I'm I'm pretty excited for it. And it makes me want to get a PS3 all more all the more so if that's how you say it <laughs> uh because I, i've really wanted to get a ps3 for a little while now um but i just never had like the funds or like the true reason to get one and this would give me like a true reason to get a ps3 which i think would be nice especially considering my xbox um just uh oh my i'm very angry with my Xbox right now. Like, my Xbox itself, like, is fine, but something happened to my hard drive, and I'm not sure, like, if I'm gonna be able to salvage, like, the, uh, I'm not gonna, just, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to salvage my hard drive, because one, either A, it's a connector failure, or, like, the hard drive itself failed, and, like, that just pisses me off, because, like, I have N+, and Super Meat Boy, and Castle Crashers, I have Geometry Wars 2, and I have tons of Rock Band DLC, and map packs for Halo, and save, you know, files for Sonic Generations, and, you know, Bioshock, and, like, it would really be shitty if I had to, like re-download everything and, like, purchase a new hard drive and I just, I don't know. So I really want to get a PS3 because they're a little bit more reliable and there's a bunch of games on there that I've never played before that I really would like to try, so there's a bunch of reasons for me to get a PS3 now. Um, ah, no! Damn it. Stupid elephant. He's not, he's not, uh, going slow enough. Oh, why do I keep on jumping in the water, too? That's like the third time that I've jumped in water. For, like, absolutely no reason, either. And I really don't want to die, because the first part of this mission has gone surprisingly smooth. And, uh, I would like for the second half to. And if I die, then that means I have to redo it again. And knowing my luck, that would, uh, screw me over. Alright, so let's try to get back onto this elephant's back. It's gonna make a little circle. Whatever. Alright. Ah, there we go. Get we're racking up the gems now. Only one more left, and then we got it. So I think I think this went pretty smoothly. It just takes a while. Cause you have to like you either have to hunt the elephant down or you have to wait for it. One way either way, you know, it takes a bit. But I'm pretty sure this mission would be impossible if you didn't have a double jump, because it would take so long. And your your timing would have to be impeccable. That's it! With these jewels I can make an ultra hard radial saw for the Awesome. Awesome sauce. <clears throat> Alright, so what else do we have to do? in order to do this. All right, so we have the RC bombing thing and then the boardroom brawl. Hmm. I think I'll go do boardroom brawl, actually, because I'm going to wait for Bentley, because Bentley's missions are, like, they're unique, but they're not mm, quite as fun as, uh, as Sly's are, and I'm in the mood for some more Sly missions. Alright, so let's go up here. Um, yeah, so I don't know I don't know how many of you have a PS3, but if you have a PS3, like, are you guys planning on getting um, Sly 4? And if so, you guys should make some videos of it so I can see it if I don't get it. When, when it comes out, because it's obviously not, like, ready to come out, and I'm sure we'll find out more information about it at E3 2012. I'm actually really looking forward to E3 2012. It should be a great conference, especially for Nintendo again, but, like, I'm really excited to see if, you know, the 360 has anything in store, because, huh, I don't know. The Wii is gonna, Wii obviously has a lot, or Wii U. Murray's rotund features prevent him from fitting through the drain pipe, so we'll need you to unlock the vault room from the inside. I've heard through a reliable... 
reliable source that the guards keep the vault combination written beneath one of their break tables. So you want me to crawl under each till I find it? That's the idea. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, I I don't know if these are random or not. Um, they might be random, so I would suggest checking. I don't but see like. Code. Oh, wow. Almost got caught. I don't know how I didn't. But we got a gold medal. I guess this guy participated in the Olympics. But Michael Phelps has more gold than that guy, so... No code here. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's always the last one, but it might be random. Um, but, yeah. This is it. Sly literally looked at it for like two seconds. There's no way he could have memorized it. Unless he's like a savant or something. Ah, no crap. Alright. He disappeared. Alright, well I want this guy's gold medal or whatever he has in here. Cause I need more money. I want to get Sly's combat dodge so I could just... Like, that's what happens, I noticed, in Sly 2. You fall behind. If you don't, like, keep up and you don't, like, grind for a little bit more coins, you fall behind with your upgrade purchasing, and then it takes forever. Nice work. Make your way to the security lockdown switch and let it be in Murray. Will do. And this is the area in which, uh, the vault is, obviously. So, keep that in mind for later when you get all the clues. Thanks for breaking us in, pal. The Murray approves. Let's get down to brass tacks. I need to hack both the vault room computers to get control of the electronic winch above the ballroom. So what are me and Sly here for? The second I enter their servers, they'll be on to us. You guys need to work together to keep the thugs off my back. You and me, pal, side by side. The Murray knows no fear. Indeed, the Murray knows no fear. And the Murray is very okay, useful in this I fight. Am. He will help Have immensely, so I am very grateful that we get to play as Murray in this particular thing. Um, because Murray just, like, I don't know, he takes everybody out in, like, two shots, or at least he knocks them away, and then Sly has his abilities, you know, he does some damage too, so it's just nice. Just stick close by Bentley and you'll be fine. And, yeah, and, uh, it's, like, level five, and I think it goes, like, level four, level three, level two, um... And he just goes back and forth, back and forth. So you'll be here for a while, but it's it's thankfully very easy. It's not it's not very challenging, and it's very pleasing also to uh, just like smack these people around. Okay, I'm close. Changing back for level four access. All right, so let's go back over here. Oh no, Bentley got hurt. Oh, does Bentley only have two hits? I think Bentley only has two hits, so watch out. Don't let him get hit two, two times. I didn't know that, because usually I never let him get hit in the first place, so I didn't know that it did that much damage. I don't know why Bentley's such a wuss. Continue hacking, Bentley. You're okay. Alright, so... Again, just stick close, and you'll be fine. Um, yeah, but I think that just about does it for this particular episode. Uh, once we finish hacking this, I think we will end the episode there. Uh, I really, um, yeah, I've kind of ran out of things to say for right now. It's like my sixth consecutive episode, so you might be able to tell why. But, uh, oh, but Sly 2 is just a fantastic game. I can't say it enough. And if you haven't tried Sly 2, or if you've never played Sly 2, if you have a PS3, I highly recommend getting the Sly Collection, because it's a great deal for three fantastic self-platformers. And I'd also try 
and play this game just because I don't know like it's just like a visually pleasing game with a great pace and like I don't know it just it just never ceases to be fun like even here where you're doing the same mundane task for you know a good few minutes like it's still a lot of fun and I still really enjoy it Oh, can you taste it? I didn't know that you could taste electronics. Alright. Alright, so we don't have too much more. I think he's on level 3 or level 2. Oh, okay. Alright, he was already done. I've got control of the winch. Thanks for the backup, guys. No problem. Me and the big guy had it covered. Murray, let's hook up the direct feed and get out of here while the coast is clear. All right, awesome. So Murray and Bentley skedaddle out of here, and now it's time for us to sked uh, to skedaddle out of here as well. So I'm going to end the episode here. I will meet you guys back, of course, in the uh, meeting room, the safe house. And in the next episode, we will bomb some cars with Bentley and progress. One step closer to getting Razan's clockwork wings. So I'm Paper Mario Guy of the Kuba Ninja Bros. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time.